Welcome to round two of the showcase challenge. You're currently 1-0. Uh, I'm going to strip this one. No actual green source, plus... Just didn't trust it. This is better. Put this Kozilek back. Lost the Dyrel again. It's unfortunate. Once upon a time. Interesting. I hope it's elves. That'd probably be the, the once upon a time deck I'd most like to see here. Hope it's not Maverick. Hope it's not Eldrazi. Might be Green White Depths. It's a pretty co popular deck now. Come on, please be like Query on Ranger or something. Street Wraith. It just feels like it's a bad thing. Oh, this Madness deck. Okay. That could be good. Shall see. <laughs> Alright, it could be a lot worse. It sucks that I don't have a second untapped mana source just yet. But the, uh, the main deck Tabernacle might actually be pretty good here. Come on, untapped mana source. I actually just purchased this deck myself on Moto. Oh, they're running Gamble too. That's a card I was interested in trying. I think they probably went for that LED. Yes. Maybe luck is actually in my favor here. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Take seven. I guess they didn't pump it up. Pump, pump it up. Come on, miss on the LED again. <laughs> yes. That's pretty bad luck for them. I mean, we don't even get our untapped source, unfortunately. Is this tabernacle worth playing out here? I don't think it is. I think I'd rather just try and live this next turn. Although they can't ox then if they. Now they're down two LEDs. Maybe that actually saves me some damage to. Hmm. How safe is playing this tabernacle out is the thing. Because it is going to hinder them. I mean, it's the reason it's in the deck. I'm going to try it. I'm going to play it out. I'll play the map for the turn. The shitty thing is that my own mana is going to be pretty tied up for the next few turns. Like, next turn I'll have to pay my own Reclaimer cost. Then probably just play Cloud Post no matter what. Ooh. Yeah, I need to get a window where I can, even in response to my own Tabernacle trigger, just uh, activate Reclaimer and go get uh, Yavamaya. I guess if things are looking really grim next turn, I could... I could always just do it on upkeep and just get rid of the uh, Reclaimer. Alright, so it's like to play the cloud post out here. It's not good. Alright. I might actually just jump here. It seems like a wise choice, actually. Yeah, otherwise I'll go to one. I don't think I can afford to do that. This is not trample, right? No. Probably we'll just get rid of the tabernacle then with the chasm at this point. Like luckily they usually don't run flaring pain. 
which is a anti-glacial chasm tech for those that are unaware. Oh, perfect draw. Not perfect, but among the best possible draws. I mean, I have to get Chasm. I probably will just uh, keep the Tabernacle around now because of that. Skitter Chasm right now. Get rid of Forest. Next turn, play Reclaimer. I'll be at four life. I guess this Reclaimer has to... I guess they don't run creature removal really game one either. But I still like keeping Tabernacle around. Yavimaya makes all the difference for that very specific situation. Because this does give them a, a way to get Ox back in their graveyard and reuse that. I could actually also... I should just get the Reclaimer down. Next turn I might end up Getting Excavator. Hmm. Okay, but this Reclaimer really needs to live for a turn. That way I can upkeep, get the Suva, and I think all will be well after that happens. I'd like to keep the other Green Sun in hand for... to try and win the game. I guess I could say Root Walla for a Needle here. Trying to think what else there could possibly be out of this list. Blazing Root Walla. Oh, Putrid Imp, maybe. I'll definitely say Blazing. Sure, let's just name them all, I guess. Putrid Imp. And lastly, Basking Root Walla. I'm not sure it'd just be some really stupid one I'm not thinking about. Basking, Blazing, and Putrid. Probably I'm just going to get rid of the Tabernacle on upkeep, though. It is hindering me quite a bit here. Just taking away any possible plays from them is pretty nice, but... Let's get this. Let's try to not mess this up here. Sacrifice the old one. Yes, I would like to pay for this Reclaimer. And then, no, I would not like to pay for the old Chasm. I'd like to draw land. You are not a land. Alright. On land next turn. Alright, I guess now I could also... At the next end step, get rid of Chasm, get another Cloud Post, and then use the Green Sun to go get Excavator. I'd probably be fine at that point. Yes, we'll pay the two. Let's 
that's not reclaimer or not a land. But yeah, let's plan to end of turn, get rid of the chasm in order to then get it back the following turn. I just feel like I'm walking on eggshells or something. This feels so hazardous. Yeah, post war we have to be worried about flaring pain. It'll stop this. Especially because they have the gamble. Which allows them to run that card. Blazing root wall. That is needled. I guess I should just kill this thing. Might as well not let it threaten me in the future. Block it with this other reclaimer. <laughs> Stuff done happening. Yes. Alright, goodbye, Older Chasm. Let's be very careful with our mana here, because we're going to have just enough left over to get uh, a Glimmer Post. Do this for three. Excavator. Get Chasm once again. Add green for this. I'm going to get rid of this Yavimaya. Actually, I could go get a Glimmer Post right here, right now. To gain three life. And then get rid of the Glimmer Post. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, this is definitely the best way to sequence this here. Gain an extra life here. Get rid of Glimmer Post then. Alright, I think we're in the clear now. And next turn I can play the Glimmer Post. The opponent goes too far in deck into their library. I could just win by getting a Nulamog attack off. Yeah, let's just play the Glimmer Post here. Glimmer Post. Play this map out. And I have six leftover mana to activate both Reclaimers and Map if I want to. I don't think I'll need to, but... Maybe to cycle some Glimmer Posts. Hopefully there's nothing I, I'm forgetting about. I think we're going to... Try and win via an Ulamog swing here. Alright, let's cycle some Glimmer Post. Or gain some life out of this. Glimmer. Then get a Cloud Post. And then I guess I'll just get an Eye of Ugin into hand. I don't think I'll need to use that, but it'd be good to have that around. Let's just go to five here and cast the Ulamog. Let's just replay the Glimmer Post again. Let 
don't even know if it's the most important. Okay, they conceded. Probably just the ox. Maybe the ox and the anger. I mean, I'd be a little exposed, technically, without a reclaimer activation up there. Not that it would matter, but I could, uh, just on my next upkeep, get rid of the chasm, swing with the Ulamog, and then replay the chasm via the excavator. Whew, man. I feel like we got lucky that game, though. Dodged two LEDs that got gambled for. Okay, so... It's fairly... It's a fairly good matchup. But they can be explosive and dangerous, so... I definitely want the Endurance. Probably all the Mind Break Traps as well. Seems like a matcher a trap would be where it's intended to try and keep us safe. You have to remember our damage might be prevented here, this game. It's got the maps. It's got the Rex Sage, I believe. I guess Steps is probably worth keeping around. Oh, I guess we don't really need the Pithy Needles, honestly. I suppose I could keep the Rex Agent just to be safe. If there's just any random crap. I'm going to take a chance, though, and just hope we don't need the Rex Age at all. Bring in a couple maps, or keep a couple maps in still. So. Yeah, because I feel like Dark Depths could be a means to win. Future Imp gets unable to block very simply. It's not enough lands. Yeah, we're likely going to be relying on Reclaimer. This hand's not good either. I really just wish there was like a green source. We can still do better. Alright, I'm going to take the chance on this. Hopefully we get a chance to Vesuva their green source, potentially. Try and lean on these two Endurance. So we'll put back Ulamog. And... I'll keep the Vesuva. I guess I'll keep the cavern, mostly in case we draw like into a reclaimer. I really had the ability to just use that. So I think we ship Glimmer Post and Ulamog here. Vesuvo will copy a green source, hopefully. And stage could be uh, a means to win the game later. It also plays well with uh, Glacial Chasm, which will likely have to happen if we're going to win. Might just definitely have to evoke this endurance though. Turn one. Damn. Give me a Taiga opponent. I would prefer that. I'm very much like that. Regular Graver Hate isn't even all that great against this madness deck. It's more so than just endurance being like a. I forgot what I was gonna say. That's good though. All right, I'm glad I kept this cavern around. Elf. All right, because that flaring pain card is gonna hinder our glacial chasm damage prevented plan. We then want to try and aim to get tabernacle out asap. To try and take him off of doing all that. Firestorm. That's unfortunate. Yeah, there's no way for me to get around this. If they're not going to give me a green source... I was going to say I should Vesuva this Cavern of Souls, but then I only have one uh, one Cavern for ele Elementals for these Endurance. I would like to get him down 
at some point, though. Just jump these things. I think we just stage here. Nah, uh, maybe I should just play this out as a cavern on elementals. Yeah, because I feel like, you know, we're going to take seven this next turn. I'm already at seven. Just hope I draw, like, a green source to keep me alive a little bit longer. feel like we're going to lose this one, though. There's also the option of bringing in Force of Vigors for these hollow ones, but I think that's too narrow. Oh, it's not going to do it. Right. Nope. There's that green source. Yeah, I was actually happy with the decisions we made that short game. Just didn't pan out. Alright, let's be on the play and not have to mold a five here. Ooh. If ever there was an all land tan, it would be this one. Are these two lands going to be enough, though? So I might be forced to play out the Chasm turn two if the opponent goes nuts. If they do that, then I'd want to play my worst land from hand out first. Which I think is... Probably just Caracas. I don't think they have any legendary creatures. Other than, like, possibly a Hogak. Yeah, I'm going to try this. I'm going to lead with Caracas. Hopefully next turn I'll be able to play out Tabernacle. But if things are dire, then I'll have to play out Chasm. I mostly want to preserve this forest more than anything. Like, that would be reasonably, like, the logical first land to play. But knowing that I might have to Chasm very early, I think we play out the Caracas. Let's see if I can win this game with the all seven land hand. If anybody ever told you, you can never keep a hand with seven lands. My mission here is to try and prove them wrong. Oh god, LED. Maybe they'll commit a ton and a tabernacle will like punish them really badly. It's one Vengevine. Please no anger yet. Oh, no lands yet either. Okay, come on, I hope they go for it. And Tabernacle just gets him. Also no anger. No anger, please, no anger. Oh, this Tabernacle would be so brutal. I guess they still have an LED left, but... No anger, no anger, no anger. There's another Vengevine down there. Well, it's a shame that they aren't going to fire that other Once Upon a Time off. Or the other LED. So this feels like a spot where I have to play the Chasm out. Otherwise, they... Hmm. Maybe I should just play the Tabernacle out here. They'll have to keep... How can they get out of it? They'll keep their Vengevine and probably two Lizards. But if I survive that, I think I should be in the clear. Also, like, they have to choose this before they draw, so they can't, like, draw into a Madness card to pitch for their LED. So I think Tabernacle is the play here. Hopefully they don't draw a land this next turn. And then if this LED dies, then I should be... That should be game, then. Alright. Come on, Tabby. 
Yeah, even if they pumped these both all to three threes, I can only take ten at most. No more land. No more land. Sweet. Should probably play Chasm out just to be safe. Nah, what could they have? They could only have like spirit guides, probably. I'd like to try and find like a Pajuka Bog ASAP. Maybe a Reclaimer. Oh, it's. <laughs> I miss that sometimes. Alright, I'll take that endurance. It's my only option. Let's try and get to this dark depth skill. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, what am I gonna bog here? A couple of vines. Maybe that'll seal the deal. Excellent. Alright, now if I just play the Depths, I can Crop Rot for my stage, my other stage, and then just kill him next turn. Let's do that. Uh-oh. Let's get rid of Caracas. Man, that was an intense round. Hey, seven land hand, it got there. Granted, one of our lands is thousands of dollars and answers creatures the way those lands are not supposed to do, but that's the thing about this deck. We're all about the lands. All right, 2-0 in the showcase. This has uh, been a fun one so far. Thanks for watching, everyone.